Okay, let's see today. Vanilla biscotti, yes. I'm going to do something interesting today. I'm going to put hazelnut creamer in my vanilla biscotti. Ooh, that's going to taste good, I think. Hello, yarn and bees. How are you today? Today is, I don't even know what day today is. 13, maybe? 13, day 13. I'm losing track. <laughs> uh, today is another episode of the 25 Days of Blissmas that I'm doing with Rosalie at Yarn It Out. And... Um, coffee. Yes, I put hazelnut coffee, uh, hazelnut coffee, hazelnut creamer in with my vanilla biscotti. So let's see. <clears throat> uh, I need more creamer. <laughs> yeah, I need more creamer. <laughs> It's like drinking coffee with no sugar. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. Hold that thought. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> that was a little, just can't do it. Okay. <clears throat> The door just opened on its own. <laughs> okay, that just freaked me out. <laughs> Hold on. <sighs> All right, I can see that today's kind of a weird day <laughs> already. I felt it when I woke up. And yeah, okay. So, <laughs> all right, our front door is like right here. And it's just opened on its own. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is a lot better. Oh, much better. Mm. Okay. Very good. So yesterday, I was watching, or last late last night, I was watching Heather the Crochet Witch. Um, she did a little montage of different creamers that she had down in her area and uh oh my god I was just like drool I'm like really like she doesn't drink coffee so she but she was showing them because um her roommate her best friend he drinks coffee and he was saying you know which ones he would drink and everything girl oh man I'm just like <sighs> depressed now. <laughs> you guys have so many different creamers down there. Like so many. Like Smarties? Seriously? Uh, I'm just so depressed. We're just so lacking up here in everything. Mm -hmm. Oh well, what am I going to do? Uh, today feels like a really strange day the the minute I woke up I felt it I just I wanted to stay in bed I was like oh I just I'm drained of energy 
I'm just, I have no, just, I'm just like, yeah. I, I just wanted to sleep all day. I woke up, it's like almost 12 o'clock now, I guess. But yeah, I woke up at like 11 o'clock. And I was, I don't do that normally. So I chalk it up to, you know, having those menopausal drains. You know, have you guys had those? Like it's, it's just the days when you have absolutely no energy. You can't get out of bed. You're just absolutely sapped. And, oh, I hate those days. I don't get anything done. I, I'm even too tired to crochet. Shocking, I know. But, yeah, I'm just, oh, I really hate those days. And I think today might be one of those days. And we also have um, really nasty snow clouds out there. So it's funny. We get one day of snow, next day it melts. We get one day of snow, next day it melts. All right. And then we have a sunny day and then we have cloudy day, you know, and now the, the cl snow clouds are starting to come in again. So it's like, okay, don't know what's happening. <laughs> I just don't know. So, okay. As I said before, um, Rosalie didn't have time to wrap the rest of my gifts because she was moving. So they're loose in a box over here. So I'm just going to keep looking for my hand in and see what we get. Ding! Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a little sewing kit? Put on your glasses, Sandy. Well, that helps. Oh, isn't this cute? I think it's a little sewing kit. Oh. Okay. The, um, oops. The little zippy tag just came off and I can't get into it. It won't open. Um, Houston, we have a problem. It's zipped closed. Oh, there. Oh, oh, did I get it? There we go. Okay. Oh, we have stitch markers. We have oh, a needle counter for knitting, which I don't do. Uh, we have moat. Ooh, these I could use. These are the, um, the clips. Um, I actually, I'm going to use these. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. And then we have, oh, oh, look at the ooh, wrong way. Look at that. Can you see that? It's um, a hook, um, I think. It's a hook, yep, um, sizer. So if you don't know what size your hook is, you put it in there and you know, which is really interesting because I use Furl's hooks and if you get the Odyssey hooks, they put a sticker on the bottom and that sticker comes off. So then you don't know what size your hook is. And I'm finding that with some of the streamlines, like the darker streamlines, they don't put um, a light enough uh, coating on so that you can see, like they engrave it on there, but you, after a while, you can't see it. So I'm going, I uh, don't know what size hook this is. My absolute favorite hook, I don't know if it's 5.5 or 6.5. So this will help. Thank you. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Oh, this is a different kind of, um, of uh, hook sizer. Look at that. It's a honey beehive. Isn't that cool? Aw, that's neat. Okay, so talking about these, um, 
these are gonna be these are actually pretty heavy so these are gonna be really good George and I have been having some problems with the um, central machine or the well the central like machine that we got um, for the circular knitting and it's skipping stitches and it's um, doing the pulled stitches and it just oh it's destroying our hats and I'm just so upset about it so somebody had said on one of the Addy uh, Facebook sites that if you put clips on the bottom of your work it will hold it in place and it will weight it just enough that you won't get that so I was thinking about going out and buying some clips but these I think are going to work just fine because these have got some heft to them thank you okay so that hopefully will solve my one some of my issues with that machine I'm just absolutely George is devastated we've made like four hats they're all just they've got pulls in them and uh I'm just oh I'm so upset so um yeah we're gonna have to figure something out for that <clears throat> um so the hats that we did make I think I'm gonna donate them to the homeless or something and I don't know we'll see which is really devastating because they were really nice hats so oh well I mean it's not devastating because somebody that needs it will get it but you know what I mean right it's so George is just like he won't even look at the machine right now he's just so upset and uh which is really sad because he was he was really getting into it and he was really you know gung-ho about it and I was so proud of him and you know it's like ah oh, crap so, oh well so anyways I'll try these these clips and see if it helps okay so the question that we did yesterday was how many ghosts ghosts speaking of uh, how many ghosts show up in a christmas carol a movie, a movie called the christmas carol everybody pretty much got that right it was four yes it was the christmas past future present and the person that was talking to him saying these guys are coming to see you so you better shape up and you better listen right yes oh i guess we have to do today's don't we i'm totally out of it today you guys oh my god okay uh okay oh <laughs> Oh boy. Name the animatronic cassette playing bear toy that every kid wanted for Christmas in the 80s. Oh my God, I remember this. I remember the craze that happened. It was insane. Um, I personally never wanted one. I, I think I was a little older, but uh, oh my God, I remember that. People were like, punching each other knocking people out just they were oh it was nasty people are nasty at christmas time you know especially if they want that one toy it's like oh my god oh, oh. yeah it's just oh unbelievable so um yeah uh so i guess that's it for today um do i have anything else i need to talk to you guys about probably Oh, sorry guys. Uh, aw, my daughter just texted me and told me that she loved me. Oh, oh, I guess I could tell you about that. Maybe I did. I don't remember. My daughter Tia, you all met her. She got a job up in the, the interior, up north from here, up where all the snow is. <laughs> um, it's about 12 hours 13 hours away from the mainland here she got a job with a big company and she's now flagging 
taken after mom's footsteps. I was a flagger for 10 years. Um, I know what it takes to be a flagger. And it's a, br a brutal, thankless job. It is. Uh, but she is, she's, she's got the cream of the crop job, which I was never lucky enough to get. Um, so she's already ahead of the game. It's a big company and uh, she's got union dues. Or, uh, she's part of the union. She's got medical paid for. She's getting, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, housing allowance. Um, she's got, oh, just crazy amounts of stuff. She's making really good money and she's just starting. And they also know that she has her uh, heavy equipment tickets. So she's in a very good place. I'm so proud of her. She's out there. She's doing it. Um, there's some sketchy moments out there. She's on a highway in the snow and, you know, oh, it just scares the crap out of me. But as long as she keeps her head on a swivel and she, <clears throat> you know, keeps an eye on those trucks that are coming through, um, she should be okay. Her first day was... <laughs> she was cold. She did not prepare well. Um, but I had bought her a heated jacket for an early Christmas present. And she, the, the, the company gives her all her equipment, including her, her coveralls, her rain gear, her, we never got that back in the day. Oh my God. I had to spend hundreds of dollars just getting all my stuff ready for the winter. So that's just a bonus. Like I, I can't even believe that she's, she's very fortunate to get that job. <clears throat> um, the, the guy that she's with right now, um, and hopefully forever, uh, James, he's such a sweetheart. I'm really hoping that you guys are going to be able to meet him if they are able to come out for Christmas. He's a special guy. Uh, I, I just love him to bits and I already call him my son-in-law. Um, he drives tow truck, um, like for the big trucks, right? He's on the show highway through hell. Um, that is for he here in BC or for well, all of Canada, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so he's on this TV show and, uh, he's in a very scary job too right? Like he's, oh my God. If you ever get to watch Highway Through Hell, look for James Luke. It's a scary job. So they're both out there on the road in the scariest parts of the, of BC. And uh, I worry about them both every day. I'm stressed to the max. My hair is going so gray and <laughs> I'm getting like stress wrinkles and Oh my God. So anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what my, my kiddo is doing. I am just so proud of her and, uh, she seems to be pretty happy. So that's good. Oh, my neighbors are out there. <laughs> Anyways. Okay guys. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. And, um, yeah, I love you all. Bye.